This is Pex, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 24, Sonata's Result. Alright, let's get this started. So we're going to start off by going here, go to the left, and then we're going to get spotted by a bunch of enemies. Let's go to the right right here, go all the way down to the right, and we're going to take down a couple of uh, archers, or watchers, or whatever you want to call them at the tower, uh, with the hand cannon. Make sure you have it at the high caliber one. And then we're going to fight this general. Um, yeah, so the strategy for fighting this uh, general is pretty simple. Use sloth and weakness, carnage, uh, kekai, and lightning. And all you need to do is uh, dual slash and then hit him four times and then uh, dash back. You can hit him four times either while he's blocking or when he's being hit, it doesn't matter. So again, just to conclude, uh, cross slash, hit him four times, then uh, dash back, but use, uh, but basically have the cross slash be confirmed hit. Don't just be like doing it while you blunt. Make sure that the cross slash is a confirmed hit, then hit him four times and dash back and repeat. And then um, make sure to use, if you want to use the, more sloth and weakness on him, uh, feel free. Uh, just make sure to not overdo it, otherwise you're, you'll run out uh, while proceeding through the mission. Uh, oh, uh, you can also do the same with uh, Carnage as well, or Kekai. Uh, but again, um, just uh, do this basic concept right there. Finish him off the cross slash. And then we're gonna loot this corpse right here. And then we're gonna open this gate. And then let's proceed through the stairs, loot this corpse, and proceed through more stairs. And then it's gonna switch to matchlock. And then uh, before we loot that corpse, there is a ninja just around that corner. We're just gonna shoot him in the head right there. And we're gonna loot this corpse now. A couple items right there. And then as we proceed further, uh, and then before passing that, uh, uh, those couple of torches there, we're gonna shoot this archer right there on that tower ahead. The then we're gonna take out another enemy right here with the hand cannon and unfortunately it alerted one of the generals so we're not gonna fight him uh, but if you want to feel free if you want more uh, armor and uh, items uh, yeah it's just pretty simple cross slash hit him four times but again I haven't actually uh, fought him because I actually wanted to uh, pass that enemy pretty quick and uh, yeah like I said, there is a way to pass his enemy pretty quick uh, without fighting him. But uh, once he like goes back to his position, I'm just, uh, gonna set up, uh, loot the corpse, and then uh, use the uh, catwalk and super scroll. And again, here's how to uh, pass this general and proceed. Alright, so after we loot this corpse, and go to your inventory, and then go to, and hopefully you still have a catwalk and super equipped. Uh, so once you use those two scrolls, just casually jog past him and open the gate. And we're still not being detected, so we're still fine for now. Just gonna activate Kekai and then wave dash past this enemy. And then apparently the Scarecrow Yokai uh, noticed us, so that's nothing to worry about. You just still gotta keep wave dashing past these enemies. And then we're gonna go up here, and then hit the checkpoint. If you're lucky you didn't get hit by the hand cannon right there. Alright, just gonna go up here. I'm gonna open this gate. And then we're going to use our hand cannon again. 
uh, just to take out a couple of enemies right here. And there's two. Alright, so we're gonna go up here, collect some armor and gold, and then we're gonna open this box, get a couple more items. And then we're going to go back to our inventory and use the Catwalk and Supa again. Just to pass a General and a Ninja that's just right below us. Alright, and then we just go to the right and we're going to go into this treasure box, open it. Inside this treasure box there is a gate, uh, gate key that we need to open this gate. Alright, and then we're just going to go to the left right here we're gonna take some fall damage right here but there's nothing to worry about hug the left side of the wall to not be detected by the yokai and then just jump down all right and then we're gonna get our there is a ninja right behind those boxes right across from us so we're gonna try taking him out but unfortunately only did like uh, just some damage but not a big damage and just hoping that it was supposed to do a one-hit kill on him but yeah, anyway, we're just fighting this ninja, simple dodge his attack and uh, do a combo on him. And then the next one is going to be another general. It's the uh, ninja general that's able to see us through from Catwalk and uh, Supu. So we're not going to really fight him, we're just going to lure him out. Here. Uh, use slots to have him run slow, and then I have the opportunity to use Guardian Talisman to have the Atlas Spear pin him down, then take that opportunity to run past him and open the gate, and we're going to immediately wave dash. Uh, go to the left, and then we're going to go through here where the enemies are destroying the door. Thank you very much. And there's another general. If you can quickly just go to, immediately go to the left. Go into the corner, go to another left, go in the corner again, and then you should be able to not get detected by him, not have him follow you, and be able to use the next checkpoint. Alright, we're gonna, for me, I'm just gonna switch uh, my second uh, Spear Guardian uh, to Raccoon Dog. Hopefully you still have Raccoon Dog on your second Spirit, so you don't need to do anything there. Um, so alright, we're gonna go into this gate, it's where we fight Sanada and Sasuke, but we don't fight Sasuke yet, and you'll know why within this battle. So get yourself prepared, Kekai, Carnage, cover your dual sword with water, and skip the cutscene, and immediately use a sloth. Um, don't use weakness much, um, but yeah, I use a Guardian Talisman, pin him down, cross slash, finishing blow, just like the last match we had. Then I need to use weakness, and then just have him you know, keep attacking, and then he's gonna eventually summon his second uh, living weapon. And then I was trying to use Atlas Bear to have him come down, but apparently uh, with the Wind Talisman, he's uh, very durable and doesn't get flinch. Unless, like, if you use like probably Sloth, I think that's what kind of happened. Uh, but yeah. Uh, still, you try to use Atlas Bear, it still didn't work, and he's just uh, constantly attacking, uh, usually summoning wind, quickly stabs you, and then do like some uh, twirling combo. Uh, just uh, try to uh, dodge him as best as possible. And uh, yeah, uh, you can use this to take advantage by having him uh, deplete his uh, stamina. So that you'd be able to uh, take him out. But he will quickly summon his living weapon again. And it'll be random. It'll either be the Wind Maiden Talus uh, Min Wind Maiden Guardian or uh, the Fire Force Guardian Spirit. So yeah, when you're when Sanada's at three quarters of health, Sasuke comes out and helps him out. So you're wondering, oh man, two bosses, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Kind of. All you need to do is get far away from Sasuke and he won't actually come after you. He'll just constantly keep throwing shurikens at you. And there you go. So I use Guardian Spirit, pin him down, and finish him off with a cross slash. And hopefully if you have done this correctly, congratulations, you had defeated Sonata and Sasuke. Uh, so I believe this was one of the toughest uh, 
toughest uh, boss in all the missions because you have to fight two. Uh, but you're not necessarily have to fight two, but I still consider it tough because Sasuke still hits you from the distance while you're trying to attack Sonata. Uh, but anyway, yeah, go to your inventory, check your weapons, armor, charm, the weight of the armor, and as well as if you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. All right, now that you get your reward, we're gonna go to the shrine. We're gonna go to offering, sell our weapons and armor for more Amarita and Elixir. And then we're gonna go and in your inventory, if you have any stones, uh, use them. And then we're gonna go to change guardian spirit and we're gonna switch the Atlas Bear for Zuzaku uh, in order to take down the next boss which I believe is Omoraki or Omora basically a giant bird. But anyway, speaking of that, on the next video, the mission that we're going to is called uh, Resentment Unleash, and I hope this video has helped you out.